Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. Last time, after successfully overthrowing the former Lord Regent, Corvo was betrayed by the Loyalists. He was poisoned, he survived, thanks to Samuel, and wandered through the Flooded District. We finally found a sewer access route back to the Helm Pits pub, but we have to go find Slackjaw to get a key to go further. So that's how he's been doing. How have all of you been doing? Are you liking and commenting and subscribing to the to the channel yet? What about that there bell? Corvo loves it when you ring the bell. God, YouTube sucks sometimes. Like, the calls to action are one thing, but now there's a bell because subscribing alone for some reason doesn't work like it's supposed to. And then even the bell doesn't work sometimes, but it's better than subscribing and then not getting the videos in your feed that you subscribe to the person for. It's all very, very shitty. Uh, and then there are the Nazis. Yeah, they're back. And YouTube loves them. And that's great. Love that. That's wonderful. Fuck this whole platform. Anyway, we're playing Dishonored. That's the video game uh, that we're playing today. I am not exactly sure if this works, but once we come out of our... Oh, no. So you can evade them. But, that doesn't work so well at killing them. Uh, we do have a whole satchel full of incendiary bolts left over. In case we ever get cornered with the river crusts. But for now, we're swimming to safety. We have to come up for air, though. I'm not exactly sure what I just saw above that grate. Nothing that I could possess. I thought I could. Thought I may have seen a rat or something. That would have been an interesting... I'm gonna... Mm, can't be a sequence break because if there's a rat there, it's very intentionally placed. But I'm pretty sure there's not. Not yet, anyway. There are a couple of little critters. Uh, be they rats or hagfish you can possess for easier movement around the level. Especially this part of the level, but we've chosen to go this route Because it allows us to see the most stuff And we're already full up on razor wire Spring razors rather We should be coming up upon them soon granny rags is down there I'm going to boil off the nasty fat and sinew and carve a pretty song on your bones hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop! Stop what you're doing! Can't we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. So she lives in the sewer now and captured Slackjaw, yeah, who has our key. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Yeah, let's help her. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. And by pot, if you look over there, Listen she means a full-ass bathtub. Her. Don't let her kill me! You, you have, have to gut him first. Corn! Whiskey! I got a key to the sewerways! Whatever you want! What are you doing? Don't help her, she's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? All right, you make a good argument, too. We're apparently easily swayed today. Don't. 
I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart. I guess that bathtub is big enough for two. Oh, hi. So first, we need her curio. Or her cameo, rather. Uh, so this is the key to destroying her. But she has summoned a plague of rats. And we need to get out this window. We're going to bake them around the corner. You're going to save him? He's not worth it. Wait for them to come. This gives us an opening to go ahead and throw that cameo in the furnace. Then we still have to turn it on and wait. We've read about this cameo before. It is the key to her immortality. With it destroyed, we can actually harm her. We're not going to kill her, though. We'll just knock her out as usual, and we get the master key from her, which will unlock Slackjaw. First, mm, let's just go back around the room, make sure we didn't miss anything like 30 coin in whale oil and a few sleep darts. Two of them. Handy. Uh, so this mission, I don't think you can do both ghost and non-lethal at the same time. Because if you choose not to kill him, Granny Rags will detect you. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. And we get rich off of that. Plus, we get our key. And we get to actually hear Slackjaw have a sense of humor about all of this. Also, what is up with all the bones? The huge, giant bones? Hmm. Granny Rags is a collector of sorts. Now, before we break these boards and follow the stream of sewage downstream back to where we came from, there's an outsider shrine over here, which means a rune and an interaction with the outsider. Who's surely just going to taunt us again? To such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between Granny Rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now? knowing your allies betrayed you. Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. One thing you really have to appreciate that is how deep those colors are. Anyway, into the sewage we go! We have just been submerged in sewage so many times today. Not to mention all of the pestilence in the flooded district. And how lucky are we that this dumps us right back where we need to be. Except now, we have that master key. Now, you notice that we have been still collecting plenty of coins, which means there's still going to be another opportunity to shop coming up. And there are humans, not... Weepers, not guards, not loyalists. Just regular people. Surviving down here in the sewers. I 
I swear I have nothing you want. Leave me be. You should probably stop that. Nah. Maybe tomorrow it'll all be better. Maybe I can go back home. Tomorrow. Half the city's dead. We'll make it three more months. This whole months. place has gone to the hounds. You have to feel for these people. Driven into the sewers. <sighs> Destitute. Sir, have you seen my husband? His name's Jake. Missing their loved ones, apparently, having to contend with the voraciousness of the rats and the plague, and then some asshole comes in pickpocketing them and eating all of their rat skewers and their apricots. Have you seen my wife? Dark hair, about this tall. It was Sarah. Afraid not. Onwards we go back to the Hound Pits pub to confront whatever is left of the loyalists and the other conspirators who, at the end, conspired against Corvo. Oh, shit. We can get past this, no problem. Ooh, we didn't catch on. Is that not the way? Am I misremembering? I'm gonna need to heal up in a second. Because they're hitting me even underwater. Okay, I need to get up. Why can't I? Oh, it's... Nope. It just got real janky. I was under a great swam forward and I still couldn't pop up onto uh, the other side of the scaffolding. Unfortunate. We're gonna have to handle that better this time. Starting with uh, setting these on fire. Goddamn river crusts. They're always so problematic. Nope, oh, there's more too. And is it gonna give me problems getting up? Mmm. Only a little bit on that ledge. Oh, and you're still up. Wait, I see stuff. I actually see stuff over there. So we're gonna have to plunge back in. Yeah. I hear the bone charm too. I think it's back there. Oh, the water is is some kind of toxic as well. It wasn't just the river crusts hitting me. And wonder I died so quickly. Come on now. Oh, it's gonna do me like this. Yup. Come on. Why? Why you gotta be a little bit janky? Oh, it's this did turn out to be the right way, like I remembered. I just somehow missed the grab before. And we're coming up upon the exit. Which means... We're heading into the endgame. I would really like to eat that. So finally, at long last, the flooded district... Uh, we're done with it. Was... One of the more sprawling missions in the game. One of the cooler ones, too. Especially because it stitches so many different locales together. And you get to see so much of the underbelly of the city. Creates a nice contrast. Especially coming off of the last few missions within the city. Where you get to see... Uh... Some of them living what you would call the high life. The Boyles and Please. Sokolov. No. Oh, it's you, Cora. And the Lord Regent. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. 
At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. All she, she wants, wants is to, to lay herself down, down in the middle of a promise. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. Death. Jesus! The fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She starves so that her children can have bread. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. The, the common, common folk, simple-minded, simple selfish, but they, they can be kind. kind. She, she has, has only one dress, and wears it to tatters. The common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. They left in great haste, scattering like insects, eager to devour into the nests she made for them. God, what a good line. What a perfect line. Now there are a few keys by the door. And we can use that to move on since apparently so much of this area has now been barricaded. Ever closer until cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen. He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying. Oh, yes. That's enough of them. We are gonna line through the pub because I'm pretty sure it's well inhabited. Men are still trying to penetrate the workshop. You should be okay. So it's an, an, an important piece of information. The workshop is barricaded, but Piero is still alive. One of the few who survived. So arrest him, but I don't. Careful, the place may be booby trapped, and I want him alive. We are gonna hide him somewhere a little bit less conspicuous. Full cutlass and a small bore pistol. Looks like Corvo ran amok before he left. Turn this building right out, and it goes without saying. This air. See you. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire now, and he has nowhere else to go. Never thought he'd bother us again. I guess he holds a grudge. So they're assuming he survived. What the? Where did you come from? Ooh, this is not good. Ooh, I hope that didn't alert everybody. Seem to be okay for now. 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna shoot a crossbow bolt at you and show him out while it's in the air. Oh no, everyone already knew. Despite the one walking away, they all knew. Well, it's only one murder for the mission. Oh! Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna do something kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if that bullet is on the right trajectory. Nope. But the bullets are not hit scan. They are physical projectiles. So, if you time a time stop just right and have guards angled just right, Ah, uh, we couldn't get it to work. You can get the guards to shoot other guards by just moving out of the way in the stopped time. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is okay. We want to run back of this. And I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. The servants were all executed shortly before. Okay, now I know that guard is there, so I shouldn't make that mistake twice. Where was he, though? Oh, he's just patrolling around. Hiram Burroughs, formerly the Lord Regent, has confessed to heinous crimes against the people of Dunwall. Well, let's take care of that. The, prison until the, proper the thing that baffles me most sentence. about this plan is how did they actually plan on manipulating Emily given Emily's affection for Corvo? And how she seemed to already know that Corvo didn't assassinate her mom or partake in any of this, and she knew the Loyalists were part of the conspiracy to take down the former Lord Regent. She would seem to be as big a liability as anyone. Oh, they're just, I guess, target practicing? So how did they intend to manipulate her? Did they think that killing Corvo and then lying about who did it or who he was was going to allow them to install her as Empress and control her like a puppet? This has always seemed really shaky to me. And like it only exists to give you an 11th hour twist. A twist which, by the way, because you have the heart, you have all the foreshadowing in the world to the point where it's not even really foreshadowing, it's just obvious. So, uh, we've tracked the conspiracy to the Helm Pits pub, searched the premises for the natural philosophers Piero and Antono uh, Anton Sokolov. Do we must secure all materials related to the enhanced arc pylon they've been constructing? Question them thoroughly, and once you're certain you have everything you know of the pylon, execute them both. Bring the pylon to me, along with the papers and recordings. They may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they're also traitors who conspired with Corvo to bring down this empire. I'm keeping Empress Emily Coldwin with me at the lighthouse on King Sparrow Island until we're certain that Corvo and his fellow conspirators have been properly dealt with. Lord Regent Havelock. This seems like a grand lie to pull off. Especially with so very many loose ends. I think we can pull this off this way. We just need to blink up here. And hopefully the tall boys do not see us for oh fuck. Well. Uh my my desires may have been misplaced. Pretty sure I am seen. Yup. We could salvage this no problem. Because we just have to get inside Emily's tower. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Even the younglings. They took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. Well, I suppose not the youngling since she's the only one. Being an honorable military man. But Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. How? Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near. Whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had. And worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. 
They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. Well, it's good she's to know Samuel so survived. And she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. Two really telling differences between low and high chaos are that on high chaos you have to find the key to this room on Callista's corpse somewhere in the yard in order to get in. That and instead of curatives on the desk, it's a cache of ammunition. It's refreshing to converse with someone. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's point. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. This city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the arc pylon, it is only a matter of. Time. So that's what they mean by an enhanced arc pylon. Can get this device working. Or you can and we and might just go after the blueprints for it next time. And we'll do the two uh, main objectives. In addition to that, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.